Nigeria's foreign policy has evolved from conception to the implementation in various administrations of governments from bilateral and multilateral relations. The question is therefore, does Nigeria's external relations reflect a defined national interest? This forms the crux on which stakeholders at a compendium on the historical antecedents of Nigeria's relationship with the outside world from 1960 till date was discussed. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorary Femi Bajabi Amila, in his special address, outlines the roles the legislators, especially the Ninth Assembly, has put in place in bridging the gap between Nigeria and the world on its foreign policies. What we know and have learned from both our recent experience and the experiences of others is that in this new world, our foreign policy must unapologetically define the terms on which we engage the rest of the world to address the different manifestations of our shared challenges so that we can each and together survive through this new age of promise and peril. To do this, we must establish the values that define us and be clear about the concerns that motivate us and the interests that inspire us. Our nation's foreign policy defines the terms on which we engage with the rest of the world. It is through our foreign policy that we declare who we are, what we stand for, and the principles we hold dear and will defend as we have done here at home and abroad in South Africa, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and everywhere else we have been called upon. In the same vein, Deputy Minority Leader Toby Okechuku says the nagging issues of Nigerians' shrinking voice in critical diplomatic circles may also be appreciated vis-a-vis -vis contemporary social economic challenges at home. But then a robust tradition of diplomatic engagement will not only ameliorate this but would also garner a responsible level of image prestige. Nigeria's Afrocentric commitment is not adequately reciprocated by the African counterparts. In this regard, the trajectory of Afrocentrism as a directive principle of foreign policy was also examined and put in and put in temporal dimension, it might be easy to appreciate its decline in relative importance. The former Minister of Foreign Affairs and Nigerians permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Aminu Wali, employed Nigerians to look inward and build policies that will favor her before looking outside, as Nigerians' benevolence has not been reciprocated by its African counterparts. Foreign policy must of necessity be dynamic, because issues change. Uh, a lot of problems crop up. We all have to take along with us to be able to position ourselves both internally and internationally to be able to handle uh, those issues that arise to our best advantage. Because foreign policy is basically trying to be nationalistic, if you like. As far as we're concerned, foreign, our foreign policy must be inward looking. Because whatever we do, we try to get the best out of any given situation, both internally and externally. A book was launched with the title Reflections on Nigerian's Foreign Policies 1960 to 2020. It is intended to stimulate a healthy and robust debate on the past, present, and future of Nigeria's foreign policy. Ani T. Patrick Kaur, TV News, Abuja.